So you became the first foreign secretary, not only in the Philippines, but also in the ASEAN. You made history. But are you surprised that so far there have only been two women foreign secretaries in the region? It was a uh, game-changing uh, situation when I became foreign minister. I had a long career. I was 36 in the service before I was made the foreign minister. You had to fought hard just so that you could marry a foreign man. That's right. How did you break that first hurdle? I decided about the 1970s. And uh, he popped the question and I said, well, why not? Uh, but you know, we have this rule in the department that only the men were allowed to marry the woman of the choice, whether it's a Filipino or a foreign woman. So I went all the way to the foreign minister and explained to him that this was not right. The foreign minister at the time was married to an American woman. <laughs> so can you imagine? Yeah. So there were 21 of them. I did my legal brief. You've got to be ready with your guns and bullets. Would you say your toughest job uh, so far has been being chairman of the UN Security Council in 2004? I wanted to talk about the role of civil society in post-conflict peace building. And of course, I got resistance. They said, oh, civil society, women, etc." It goes to the Economic and Social Council. So I discussed this with uh, Kofi Annan at the time, who was Secretary General. And then he said, Madam, you're the chair and you decide. So I walked in there, I said, gentlemen, I'm the chair and this is my agenda. So sometimes you really need to put your foot down, you even, when, you, foot even down. when you're in the highest position. Yes. What were some of your most delicate diplomatic moments? Oh yes, saving a life. He was a hostage in Iraq. They were going to cut his neck on television if we didn't withdraw the remaining mm. troops we had in Iraq. I negotiated through cameras. Mm. And then so much of your own humanity comes in the picture because this is a man that is going to die if you make a mistake. That was the most delicate and challenging. What happened in the end? Then I got him home. Do you think that there are some golden rules that you can impart? It's a lot of dedication to find yourself. You have to find yourself by losing yourself in others, mm. in serving others.